Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're outside because we've got some nice weather. Well, it's windy, but the sun's out. It was actually too hot to film in my conservatory. I had my jumper on. I've just got a vest top underneath and a, a very obvious big bra. So I thought we'd uh, come outside and then I won't be sweating. I'm just out of bed, pretty much. Out of bed, out of the shower. I've had a coffee, no breakfast yet. And the exciting thing is I've got an unboxing and it's something that I knew I was going to get once I sampled it. But before I sampled it, I never thought I would be buying it. My very, very first from the brand. And again, I never expected to be buying anything from this brand. So it's a bit of a turnaround and uh, I'm very excited to share it with you. You would have seen this particular fragrance it's, it's getting a bit of hype there's quite a few people that have bought it and reviewing it on youtube and instagram so it's not going to be the most exciting or unusual purchase that i've ever made but still i'm happy it's arrived and i'll share it with you now so i've undone the actual box and i don't know if i'm going to put in the title what it is it might be more fun for you to, if you don't know what it is so yeah let's not put it in the title um, I'm trying to pull it out but I don't want all the packing peanuts to go everywhere so uh, let's I'm gonna pull it out of its box on camera so this has not come from the official it's not come directly from the brand I purchased it from a what do you call them I guess uh, I purchased it from a person who distributes niche fragrances uh, it's, if I tell you it might give it away so I'll come back to that in a minute but I bought it at a bit of a discount well a really decent discount actually so here it is Can you see what it is Can you see what it is yet if you think you know what it is do comment below pause the video comment below if you knew what it was before you even saw this comment below yep there we have it so i bought my first parfums de marley oriana oriana parfums de marley and it's a quite a big box so let's get straight into it so i did already talk about this one on the channel I did a kind of like a first impressions it ended up being more like a full review but now I've got the bottle I might revisit that and very happy to have this I haven't bought a perfume for a little while I haven't really felt the need to I've got a few things on my kind of like to want to buy this but I feel no rush to do that um, I feel a bit cluttered actually in my house uh, with perfumes and other stuff you know you, you accumulate stuff don't you and then it starts to get in the way and then you can't find the things that you want because you've got stuff in the way uh, it's not just perfume it's everything it's makeup I bought a lot of makeup years ago. I haven't really bought any makeup for years, but I've got so much from years ago. I did have a big declutter of eyeshadow palettes, but um, yeah, I think I feel a bit overwhelmed by stuff at the moment and I don't quite have the energy to go about decluttering either. So that is something that I need to do to make myself feel better, I think. But anyhow, we've, we've added more stuff to my house now with this Oriano from Parfums de Mali. Seems to only come in a 75 mil at the moment i know with some of their fragrances you can get bigger ones but oriana seems to only be available Ooh, it's got like a rubbery feel i wasn't expecting that um gorgeous presentation i do like it some may say it's a bit tacky i have to say i've always been drawn to the bottles so that's really nice and i mean obviously it's glass it's not rubber but it's the texture is matte and that gives this feeling of almost like touching a touching rubber a little bit not quite but you know 
um it's just because it's matte i think it's like i guess the glass is painted with with i don't know if it's some sort of special paint or substance but anyway i i like it i i, I really like it i got through my sample that uh, so let's tell you now i bought it from marcus who has the uh, distribution on instagram pdm underscore uk so part so i guess that's short for pop i'm smiley so pdm underscore uk marcus is very well known amongst us frag heads uh, and a uh, reliable source of discounted high-end more mass market niche and that's how i would class parfums de mali uh they, their their niche but they're available in a lot of places including online retailers so they are obviously made in factories and mass marketed uh, this retails for 210 i think 210 pounds so it's a lot of money for a 75 mil but marcus did a wonderful discount and i assume he has more bottles so if you are interested you can go to his instagram and see if he's uh if he's up he updates what he has and the prices and stuff so you can go have a look and see what he's got because there's loads of parfum de mali along with many other uh, more mass market niche brands so there we go so thank you marcus for uh, sending this to me so quickly and now for the spray on because so nothing on the nothing on the top there i'm surprised about that i would have thought there'd be a little logo or something with such a high-end uh product but never mind so uh yeah i'm gonna spray it on it's my scent of the day not long out the shower so i'm lovely and fresh and clean i will over spray because i know that the projection's a little bit light on this one so i'm gonna go here i have to be a bit strategic in my spraying because i get rashes there goes the box i get rashes in certain places I know I've got rashes on the sides of my neck which is where I tend to spray so I have to avoid that I'm going up here at the moment in the middle there I'll probably do one on the back of my neck and then we'll do one on this wrist I always like to save one risk risk I always like to save one wrist in case I feel like putting something on there later on so I'll only do this wrist and the back of the hand as well and there so yes i have been craving this since i fell in love with it put it, put it back on its put it back in its i'll put it in backwards i'll put it back in its resting place that is gorgeous let's do a thumbnail with the wind whipping my hair i've been craving this perfume since marcus sent me the sample I wasn't expecting to fall in love. I thought I would find it mediocre, overpriced, overhyped. I thought it was going to be nice. Note listing, the note listing sounds really nice, but I was expecting it to be a touch on the generic side. I find Parfum de Mali, I think they, they're, they're good quality. I do think they make nice quality fragrances, but I do find them very close to the mass appeal of designer fragrances so i've never felt compelled to own any because they've never really jumped out at me none of them that i've tried anyway although i haven't tried delina believe it or not i've tried delina exclusive and i think that's really nice but to me it reminded me a little bit of montel rose fragrances so you can get montel a lot cheaper so i kind of like thought okay it's very nice but i don't need to have that but Oriana, yes, it probably could be put in a designer bottle and sold at a designer price. It's, you know, it, it's a designer level, but a good designer, designer level sort of quality. What I like about it is they haven't, uh, they haven't thrown ambroxan at it. They haven't thrown any of those scratchy, dry aroma chemicals that really make perfumes last and project that I don't like. So I like that I don't get any of that in here. I think this is absolutely my style of fragrance my really the last year to year and a half everything i've fallen in love with has been musky floral vanilla you put musk florals any kind of florals really except maybe tuberose 
and anything really scratchy and sh or, or screechy should I say anything really like kick you in the balls uh, harsh or sharp or you know what I mean but if the if the florals are mellow and it's musky and there's a little bit of benzoin or um, vanilla if it's a little bit powdery you pretty much guarantee I'm gonna like it that's that's my taste right now so my taste actually lies fairly generic at the moment I, I mean I absolutely love the new Miss Dior I love it I'm addicted to it spraying it all the time nearly emptied the 30 ml bottle that I've got and that is a musky powdery vanillic floral and that is what Parfum de Mali Oriana is so I've already talked about it in another video I will just tell you that it is for me, orange blossom is the main note. There's a touch of rose, which I think just mixes with it and doesn't really stand out. There's a bit of raspberry, which adds a tart kind of sweetness, tart and sweet kind of like raspberry. There's some citruses. So there's, I think there's mandarin and grapefruit and one other bergamot probably. And you can definitely smell the citruses, but you can always smell the other sweeter richer notes at the same time so it doesn't ever feel like just a. even when you first spray it, it doesn't just smell of citrus you can smell the orange blossom straight away mixing with the citrus mixing with the raspberry and you can tell that there's an underlying powdery sweetness very uh, soft and fluffy powdery sweetness and then as you wear it that lovely powdery sweetness comes to the forefront and it does get it's got a chantilly cream note so basically cream with vanilla infused in it is a chantilly cream and you do get this this lovely creamy vanilla smell but you also get the powderiness of musk and I'm not sure if there's iris in here wouldn't surprise me if there is because it's got that kind of like lovely uh, powderiness so it's creamy and powdery at the same time in the dry down and I just the dry down I absolutely love but even now the initially I was like oh the opening is all right but now I've changed my mind and I love it I absolutely love the opening it could come off a tiny so a tiny bit soapy so just be aware of that as you know. if you're averse to how orange blossom and sometimes the roly can become a bit soapy it does go a tiny a tiny bit in that direction and it certainly does have some links to the Killian one it's, it's getting compared to Love Don't Be Shy it does feel like it's in it's in the ballpark they could totally go to the same party and they'd get along really well and someone might even say hey do you are you two related <laughs> I don't know why I needed to put on a weird American accent to say hey are you two related um they could yeah they, they could be related but you can totally have both for me the Killian's too sweet and too rich for my taste albeit I think it's gorgeous and I would absolutely love it if everyone in my life was wearing love don't be shy all the time because it smells amazing but if I'm wearing it myself it's just a bit too much to be wearing all day long whereas Oriana isn't so heavy and strong and overbearing I guess and it does have a nice development. I don't know if Love Don't Be Shy. I haven't really tried it for years. So I, I think it might have a bit less development, Love Don't Be Shy, whereas Oriana does definitely have a journey on your skin, which is really important to me because my nose is very fickle and I need constant stimulation from fragrance, which is why I'm constantly spraying on stuff all day long. So uh, that's why I keep this one wrist free if I am choosing to have just one fragrance as my main fragrance of the day uh, I will always keep one wrist free but oftentimes I'm wearing one fragrance up here one here and one here because I am fickle and I was gonna say a whore now I tell you why I'm thinking the word whore is only because I just watched I haven't finished watching Angie's video and 50 cents UK uh, has just put out a haul video and I'm only halfway through but she called herself what did she call herself a, a fragrance whore or so, she used the word whore and it made me laugh and that's in my head now but I think we all are aren't we if you're watching this video massively into fragrances you probably are a fragrance whore let's face it let's just own it yeah I'm owning it so that's it quick one well 15 minutes still um just to show off my new purchase 
let me know if you've tried it let me know what you think about it let me know if you want to try it if you're planning to or if you have no interest whatsoever all opinions are, are valid and welcome in the comments